I just got a whole fucking argument with Omar over the phone. Take it, what up? Better go out. Are we the only people still here? <laughs> Hold it right. Anyways. It's the hottest it's ever been in a while. We have to take advantage. <laughs> what? How the fuck do they expect Danny to do this? Hey guys, I finally, after a lot of filming, thinking, and writing, got this emotional piece of garbage up for everyone to see. This is sort of a life update, event, chill with me, moving vlog all in one. So do what you please with that. Honestly, don't know where to start. There's been so much going on, so much of it wasn't documented for you all to see. It's April 2022 by the time you're seeing this, I think. But for me, it's March 2022. This nigga. You pick one and I pick one. Bruh. Oh my god. You pick one and I pick one. You pick one and I pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these gonna taste good while we hot. Ooh. Can you I wanna get those? Do yeah. you like these? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, where the pop at? We gotta find the pop. These are gonna taste good. <laughs> <laughs> these first three months of the new year have been so all over the place and indifferent kind of like a fever dream and i know i give off the main character vibes but your girl is really living the life now and sometimes i cannot handle it i've had a lot of high highs and a couple of low lows simply because i'm in a transitional phase of my life right now i'm someone who's had a better relationship with like divine timing and like patience and self-reassurance it's something that i didn't always have a lot of or like I didn't really have it in the past like few years of my life. You see that? <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, let me have a drink. This tastes like ass. Yeah. Drink helps out. You got all your in your mouth? Mm -hmm. I'm full. It's, it's really a look on her. It really is. I saw fing gross. I usually put it on bread and peanut butter. Come on. Bro, it's in my teeth. Try this. Am I gonna go up? Am I gonna go up? Not supposed, Please, maybe from the flavor, how nasty it is, but not from. Yeah, I almost started gagging here. Yeah. <laughs> strong. It's one of the strongest I've ever had. Oh, we about to be tripping balls. Let's take it. What I'm about to go out. Yeah. No, wait. I can't see nobody. Catch your name, by the way. What was it? It's Kara. No, because you literally have that fit on me. What do you mean? You literally look so good. Oh, thank you. I wish I could see. Right? How do I fix this? You know, created by. Oh, there we go. Drinking on an empty stomach is the only way to do it. Absolutely. Are you serious? If you know, you know. No, I'm no literally. Oh. If you know, <laughs> no, you know. Literally. Whoa! I'm about to be like, we're gonna drink this. I don't drink. You just gotta take a little sip. I'm not gonna make you drink a lot. I'm just gonna take a sip. I'll take a sip for you. Get it, Izzy? I really like lumberjack. I need to figure out how to... <laughs> she look, you look like one. <laughs> we're trying to get this fire bus in. Bottle opener? Um, no. I have a key. I got these buck teeth, baby. You are so f***ing wrong. I have one in my purse, but I don't feel like I'm like in there. So I can't. Oh, no. I know. My dumb ass. You got be cold. No, the f*** I'm not. What? Mm -hmm. It's it's your teeth? Yeah. good. Who's growling? <laughs> this is a vibe, y'all. The fire went out and it's f***ing cold. <laughs> I'm fucking skinny. Oh. Bonfire gone wrong. Bonfire gone wrong. Oh my god. Are we the only people still here? There's a couple, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a story to tell. I'm nowhere near where I know I'll be later in life, but I don't sweat it because why would I? If I had all the growth I'm meant to have like throughout this human experience right now, I wouldn't feel the need to speak right now. I don't think I've ever been this eager to see where the year goes for me when I think about everything I'm gonna have for myself and like the opportunities that will present themselves to me. I feel lightheaded in the best way, euphoric, 
unholy amounts of nervousness and just immense gratitude for everything that i have and what i had to work with let's talk about the fact that i finally moved out bro like i really cannot believe it if you know you know i've had moments where i've sat and cried and said i hate it here and i can't take it anymore because of how overwhelmed i get and how hopeless i feel after like just another energy draining situation i remember i was on instagram talking about how like i just one day i got out the shower and i just had a random panic attack and it was probably like one of the worst days of my life um those are some unfortunate moments but you know when i stopped asking when things were going to change for me they changed and the original plan was for me to move out in april this year around the same time this video is being uploaded and it was supposed to be like it was I was supposed to be moving in with my oldest sister, Gabby, and my nieces and my nephew. I've always been one to notice things turning out exactly how I needed them to and not exactly how I wanted it. I still don't know how to explain that like fully or like thoroughly, but because I do get what I want, but what I want may not be fully clear. And sometimes I don't know what step to take or like what to do or say, but I just somehow always have guided myself in like the right direction and that's, a beautiful thing so how this move came about was pretty random in itself and unexpected but perfect for both me and my roommate i happened to be needing a place to live while they were looking for someone to live with and nobody can convince me otherwise but we were meant to room together and we were meant to have this cozy little apartment kind of like you know basically what i would have been doing if i had you know moved to college like this is essentially the same kind of situation except you know i'm not in college you know i do have a pretty chill roommate we have our tussles sometimes but you know they're a person i'm a person like you know we met at work so that's cool i'm pretty satisfied with how everything played out there's a few issues before i like fully moved in but we're fully settled now and i haven't been through anything that i wasn't like really prepared for hey guys um i just got out the shower i have a lot to do today and i have literally one hour to be ready um today's gonna be a really good day my roommate and i we planned um a little picnic minus the food there's gonna be like a bunch of you know friends getting together and we're gonna paint and we're gonna color and um you know just chill like enjoy the good weather um if you didn't know i live in kentucky and the weather has a mind of its own like we have all the seasons but we the weather still has a mind of its own. Spring is approaching. Spring is not until March the 20th. It's March 5th and today's the hottest it's ever been in a while. So we have to take advantage. It's in the 70s today. And I'm just feeling like we should, you know, do something. Amazing. I manifested my manager. Real niggas watch um, Trinity. But um, so I'm ready to get ready. It's literally 2.30. And all this stuff is supposed to start at 3. So I need to hurry up. Fit check. We're about to meet Mary at the um at the magnet school. And I thought I thought that was a school for deaf kids, but apparently it's not. The more you know. <laughs> the more you know. Kara's carrying the tapestry. Are you going to the car? Oh you are. Can you get the key? Where is <laughs> Did you zip it up? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't a bag. It's car. Back on our departure. Hurry up for a car comes. <laughs> this new sense of freedom almost makes me want to act a fool y'all but i've been focused on my new car filming more original content building my streams of income and just walking towards everything that's calling me for the most part i've been surrounding myself with good people and the ones i care for most um are okay there's sunlight entering my home every morning and I have no doubt in where the universe is taking my life. I'm gonna go way more in depth in a separate video, but I'm thinking about making um, like a video where I talk about like where I was a year ago because I do have this grat gratitude slash manifestation slash whatever I wanna write journal. I've recently read some of the things that I wrote in there like a year ago from now, and I just feel like I have to talk about it. It's so interesting seeing where my headspace and energy was, you know, at the time, and a lot's changed. Um, on Instagram Reels, I was talking about how we should take time to sit and recognize growth, even if it's the littlest bit. Sometimes I'll think to myself, why do I get so worked up and down in the dumps when I know everything will be good for me? I'm learning not to feel bad or embarrassed about the fact that I am a very sensitive person. I am very president, president. <laughs> 
I am very present. I'm a very present person and I am easily stimulated. <sighs> I just got done crying and I'm gonna cry some more. I'm extremely happy with the fact that I moved in. Like, this is all, like, really good. But I'm just a very over, like, I get overwhelmed so easily and it stresses me out sometimes because I look at me like just thinking something's, like, wrong with me. Like, I be thinking I have OCD, y'all. I be questioning it all the time, but maybe I'm just an overwhelmed person, but because I can't, like, really get into that right now. I'm just overwhelmed, like, honestly. I kept blaming it on my period, but this is just how I am. I'm not even on my period. Like, my period hasn't came yet, but I'm sure it's coming. I don't like to think I run away from my issues, because I don't, but I really do let things go quickly. I'm learning to instead think, you know, everything is good for me. It's not going to be good for me. It's good right now my good will become greater. It's a process I try not to stress myself out about. I'm learning even though my human experience is really good, I'm allowed to feel somber and I'm allowed to feel angry. I'm allowed to feel feelings that I don't even want to feel. I want to continue to show the highlights, of course, but I also want to be comfortable with the ugly because there's a lot of it in my life. My life isn't always cupcakes and rainbows. It's way more than that. I'm way more than that. I want to voice that and make it as important as anything else I have going on. I'm getting comfortable with life, living it, not letting it beat me up basically so yeah you made it to the end of the video i appreciate you very much here's me adding the finishing touches to my side of the apartment the leaves aren't like the final final touch like um over time i'm obviously gonna like add more and more to the apartment and i'm sure my roommate is too um i just had to record this because i felt like it was like the perfect ending like me just hanging up some fake smelly leaves was just the perfect way to close this project if you like the video please give it a thumbs up comment anything you'd like to comment subscribe join the family and oh well, don't join the family if you're not gonna watch my videos you know don't subscribe if you're not gonna watch my videos i always have to say that now and remember to stay whelmed and never overwhelmed and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye